Hello, and welcome to Physics 1, Experiment 5, Uniform Circular Motion. In this lab, we will be examining the forces acting on an object moving in a uniform circular motion. Here is what you will need. The LXI data logger. The force sensor. A set of masses, the centripetal force apparatus, and a paper clip. We will start off by unhooking the bob from the spring and the centripetal force apparatus. We will then take the bob over to our set of scales and obtain the mass. We will then hook the bob back to the string and measure the radius that we have, which is indicated by the numbers on the centripetal force apparatus. We will then hook the spring back up and make sure that it pulls a little bit. Then we will set up your timer which you can use your phone if you would like. We will then begin to spin the apparatus. We want the bob to be over the number that we recorded, so we have to spin it at a higher rate to get it to stretch out more. Once we see that it is over the number that we specified, we will press start on the timer and record the amount of time it takes for 30 rotations. Once we have 30 oscillations, we will press stop on the timer and then slow down the apparatus. We are now ready to adjust the mass of the bob. To do this, we will loosen the washer that's located on the top of the bob and slide in a mass of your choice. Make sure to tighten down the washer so your mass does not slip out. We will then repeat the process of obtaining the amount of time it takes for 30 rotations. We now need to obtain the amount of force it takes to pull the bob to the specific radius that we have determined. To do this, we will hook the paper clip onto the opposite side of the bob as the spring. We will then get our force sensor ready, press the zero button, hook the force sensor onto the paper clip, and then pull until our bob is over the radius that we have chosen. We will then record this force on our data sheet. You can do this with or without the added mass on the bob. Now we are ready to change the radius. To do this, we will unhook the spring and remove any added masses to the system. We will then loosen the set screw located on the vertical column of the apparatus and then slide the metal post to a new radius that we will measure. We will then rehook the spring and then repeat the process of measuring the amount of time it takes for 30 oscillations at this new radius. We will then re-add the mass to the system. and repeat this process one more time. We will now use the force sensor to determine the amount of force it takes to pull the bob to the second radius we chose.
After we get this last measurement, we will have all the data we need to complete the lab. That is all for this lab. Thank you for watching and feel free to refer to this video at any point.